So I just finished reading Dreaming Among Shadows by Danny Burns. Um, now, excuse my pronunciation of the name. She does have a pronunciation guide at the beginning of the book, but I find it easier to type them into Google and get them to speak it to me, and I'll play it a few times, so it might not be accurate. Um, Silosha might not be right, sorry if it's not, but that's just the easiest way I find to learn the names. Um, so she is a princess who can, has special powers that she comes into on her 20th birthday. Um, she is they're fulfilling the ancient prophecy of the gods when she gets these powers. Um, the, she has these dreams as well that has, she connects with a, an unknown fae called Zen. And they communicate through these dreams and she doesn't really understand like why she's communicating with them. But he teaches her how to work her powers, how to control them, all of that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> now, I had very mixed feelings about this book. Um, so the first part, I felt like there was a lot of characters thrown at me. There's four or five on her side because it's a dual point of view. There's three or four maybe more can't remember at the beginning mainly you zone in on three or four but at the beginning i think there might have been a few more <clears throat> sorry and um i just found it a little bit confusing um but that's kind of it's always the same at the beginning of a book trying to get to know the characters and that kind of thing and who's who so then it just kept going and you've got the reality of what's happening and then you've got what's happening in the dream that she has with zen and their communication so again that was a little bit confusing for me as well but that's fine um so i got to about 33 percent. i was on kindle so i got to about 33 percent, and i was kind of like mm, don't know is this book for me um i was going to i was going to dnf it i was just i wasn't feeling that. i wasn't sucked in like i was hoping i would be um but then it got to about 35 percent, and i was hooked i was sucked in loved it flying couldn't put it down but then once kind of we got over what happened, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but once I kind of got over what happened and stuff, again, it just started falling away for me. There was a few surprises that I mean, oh, I, you know, catch your attention. But I just felt my attention was just going again very fast. Um, then at the end, then the the ending was just like, oh, my God, draw dropping. I <laughs> so like it was like a real roller coaster. It was up and down, up and down. Uh, but the ending has left me wanting to read the next book. Uh, so I'm very conflicted. I don't think I've read a book that I've been so conflicted about. I either like it or I don't like it. This one, I'm on the fence. It, there was good parts in it. The ending left me wanting to read the next book. And yeah, so that's just... I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably end up reading the next book because I want to know what happened. Uh, but yeah, 